we reached the first waterfall. That's pretty. Okay, first waterfall down and uh, the typical slow shutter speed shot, but there's nothing wrong with that if you just know that everyone else has done it. <laughs> but it's special to me because I'm here and I will remember the shot. So uh, for those of you that don't know how to do that, you just need a tripod and you need to shoot at, you know, different slow shutter speeds, a second, two seconds, and uh, your water looks like silk. So try it, it's very fun. Okay, another beautiful one. And there's actually like a little mini one here. So there's the main one, and right away I saw this little guy. So maybe a vertical here would be kind of cool. This gives you a nice leading line, like this, this water is pointing to that water. And uh, yeah, let's try that. It's also great to have a neutral density filter. This is a variable ND mist filter for video, but it works for this as well. Oh, this is a big boy. This one is very high, this waterfall. Wait till you see this, guys. Let me not fall. <laughs> Get it? Fall. <laughs> Look at that. Can you see that? I don't know if you could see that. I don't know, can you see that? That's exciting. Now composition here is gonna be tough because it's tall and uh, it could be boring. It could just be the water. What are you gonna do? Uh, I think a super wide here, maybe a pano or something. I don't know. Let's try. So the first composition I'm going with is a vertical. Uh, with the, these rocks in the foreground, but it really doesn't do it justice. Um, so it just doesn't really pop how big it is. I mean, it's big. So um, we're gonna try something else. Okay, so I am shooting F11. I am focusing uh, a third into the scene or so, F11. And with the ND filter, it gives me a five second exposure. So putting the falls on a third here and kind of the greenery so that the eye leads to the waterfall and back to the greenery and all that beautifulness. So I think that might be cool. Do that. And I also have a two second timer so that I don't touch the camera. And then two seconds takes the shot for five seconds and we got our shot. I like it. I think the secret to good uh, falls, good waterfall photography, is to not just think about the falls. You have to think about what's surrounding the falls. And here I saw these little steps, and there's also a wall that has like awesome moss on it, very mossy, and then the falls. So if you just take a picture of the falls, it's like, yeah, it's just water. It's just water. But here we have stairs. You got stairs, water, moss. Perfect. Oh yeah? Well, you can't spell. Okay. So now I'm carrying my tripod like a birding photographer. <laughs> it's totally open because I am tired of uh, you know, taking it out, setting it up, and I uh, just want to get more waterfalls. So now I look like a dork. It's not because of the tripod. Another good suggestion is to have some kind of preset, something that, you know, once you're, if you're shooting in the shade like I am, your setting shouldn't change too much waterfall to waterfall. So it actually might be good to have, save your setting, that way you save time each time you come to a waterfall. You don't have to reset your shutter speed and your two second timer. It's already set up. Uh, another suggestion is uh, always do a vertical. I know horizontal <laughs> and landscape mode is for landscapes, but uh, work the scene. So always turn your camera vertical. So I just did a horizontal landscape shot. No, oh, so this is a pretty one here. I think I'm gonna use this rock here as like a foreground element. And again, leading lines to the waterfall in the background. My only concern is that sky in the back. 
So I'm going to shoot raw so that I can bring that sky down a little bit and bring all this stuff up in post. Let's try it. Uh, number one is ready to go for eight second exposure. Eight seconds later, we get a photo. Wow. Focus is going to be an issue here, so I'm actually going to take two photos in case. I'm going to focus on the foreground and the background separate in case I need to marry them later. I am shooting at f11, but that's still, this is a little too close for comfort as far as focus goes. All right, let's do it. Another good suggestion is you got to come early before the sun hits the falls because once the sunlight hits the water, the water is just too overexposed. So it's better to shoot them in, uh, I'm hiking waterfalls in shade. <gasps> oh, that's pretty right there. Look at that. Nice man. You should also try to get low to the ground. That helps. Alright, hope that was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.